What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so to... I had a different part of this video, but I'm not going to use it anymore because uh, my dad came into it and it kind of got ruined. Um, so this might not be like a giant video. Um, I am starting my own... Uh, not channel, because I already have my own channel, but... Um, I will be starting my own uh, series without Ruby Buckets. Because, I'm sorry Ruby Buckets, but you right now, you're doing a ton of stuff off camera. Like, you're finding diamonds off camera. And I really just want it to be on camera. Just for, like, partly for me, so I know you're not, like, cheating. Because in some world, other worlds, we've had that we didn't post videos on. Uh, for some reason, when I joined in, I was on creative. And I was a, not a host, by the way, guys. Um, so, I might... I will be starting my own um or I can't talk right now but uh oh my why didn't it place does it not place when you do that but um I'll be starting my own series so you guys will be seeing that maybe even today if i have a chance um for ruby buckets it's also hard because all the mining you're doing off camera is you're finding diamonds off camera apparently so i mean you said we'd have we'd be doing all this stuff on camera and everything. And I'll just be starting my own series too. Actually, I might be starting two more series. But, um, by the way, guys, I will be posting some more experiment videos because those blew up on my channel. So those will be coming out soon. I have to put a torch now. So, oh, I completely forgot to tell you guys what I'm doing. So I'm actually expanding my underground farm. I just hollowed this out a little bit. Planted some crops and everything. But you have to jump up here. Like this. This is what it looks like from the outside. It doesn't look too good. But once you go inside, the inside's a lot better. Well, it's a farm from the inside. So it doesn't... Oh my god! I can't even like jump one block without it going boom! Um, I will be starting a few series on my channel. I won't really be naming series blah 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 because that's going to get really confusing. Not just for me, for you guys. Um, so I'll just be posting videos. Just know it's a probably part of a series. Um. This, what you're watching right now, is actually part, also part of a series. If you don't know that. But I'm expanding my underground farm. Right now. That's what you guys are watching me do. And... Yeah. So guys, if you ever do make an underground farm, you have to light it up super well like I did. Or else, if you break all like these things, just watch what happens. I'll break some torches. I'll break all the torches. I'll leave like one or two. I'll leave that one. And then you guys are going to watch what happens. See? Seeds keep popping off. See? Seeds are popping off. It's all popping off. 
And that's really not good. Because then it won't ever grow. It'll just keep popping up. But when you do this, they don't pop off. Obviously, you have to replant these. Because these did pop off earlier when I was showing you guys. Where did that come from? Literally, there's nowhere that could have came from. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can't jump or else I'll be smashing my seeds to bits. Um, yeah, so right you can't take it from there you take it from like it there and it'll refill forgot that's how it works all right so I don't really want to make it this this video that long. That's all I'm gonna do for this. Um, we, we're literally living right next to an abandoned village, and yeah, it's giant, but it's abandoned, and it would be so hard to get it back up and running. So we're not even gonna try. If we did think it was possible, we would definitely do it, cause. He has lots of spare time, somehow. Um, let me just fill this in, trying to make the land look a lot better. So, yeah. This is what, this was my old farm. It's not bad, but, uh... It was kind of small. It wasn't providing as much food as I need. Obviously, right now we have it on peaceful. For some reason, I don't know why he had it on peaceful. Because when I joined in, it was on peaceful. I don't care if I stomp on his potatoes or anything. They're all fully grown, so it'll just stay there. And this is my mine shaft. I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. That's my mine shaft. I have some seeds going around here, but then there's the staircase. And then I have my chest. There's not really much in here. Some stairs. Crafting table. And then it goes down. It goes down to Y11. If you guys don't know why I made it go down to Y11. That's where diamonds will spawn. So, I actually haven't found any diamonds. I don't actually have a pick on me right now. So I'm going to go back up to the top. But we're going to go XP exploring Ruby Bucket's house. And you guys will be amazed on what he made in probably an hour. Two hours, maybe. He made this. All right, this is not too hard to make. And then he made that little pen, which I don't know why he made this little pen, but, uh, he did. And then this is how you get into the house, right here. It might look really small from right here, but once you get inside, it's not. You can go downstairs, where you have some chests. He has a lot of chests. Let's just see what is in here. Doors, some food. All right. Food and farm should literally be the same, but okay. I mean, whatever floats your boat. Blocks. Okay. Guys, if he had diamond blocks in here, I would know he's cheating. Don't get mad at me, Ted. I mean, Sharkat. Um, Ruby Buckets. I'm just doing this for us. 
There's nothing in these. I already checked earlier before I made this. The lapis you guys just saw me steal. It wasn't stealing. I know I just named it. All right, I should not have said steal. But, uh, so his house is actually pretty big. It has a decent overlook. This blue bed. I wish I had this bed. That's the good bed. Which, actually, I don't know how he got that bed. Because there's no villages near us. And there's no blue sheep anywhere here. Which is kind of sus. If you ask me. And he claims he has a mine that he's been working in this whole time. Yet, all I've noticed he built is that giant house. This is what it looks like from the outside. It's on this hill and everything. Now, he said he has a strip mine. So, today, we're going to be trying to find it. Now, there is the ravine here. It's just... we. He already completely looted this, apparently. I don't actually doubt he did. But, it looks like he's been mining some trees. If you guys watched my first video, I said not to leave trees hanging. Yeah, and he agreed with me. He was the one who first taught me that. Because, yeah. And look what I just found. That easy. Just mind one more block. Now, earlier... If you guys want, ever want to get rid of, like, one of these trees that have it, like, all weird and everything, the wood weird, well, what you have to do for these is you have to get a piece of flint and steel and just light it a few times. And it works a miracles. If you just do that a few times, it'll burn down the whole tree in a matter of maybe five minutes. If you help it, maybe three. Now, I can't actually find his strip mine, which is weird, because he's like, oh, it's out in the open. I'm like, where's the open? By the way, guys, if you're wondering what this is, this is my house. This will, this will be a quick preview to a different video exploring my house. I'm showing you guys, I'm just going to show you guys a pre preview. This would be my... Thing. It's all going to be cobblestone. It's going to be like an underground cobblestone bunker. But I don't want to show you guys too much of that yet. You know what? Sheeps, I'm sorry. So don't go in the comments and start spamming me out sheep abu abuse. He never uses these sheeps. They're getting abused anyways. And my chickens, I never said I used them anymore, but I still, like, feed them and stuff more often. See, he'll never even know they're gone. Now, guys, in this video, we will be doing something Yeah, actually, this will probably wrap up the video for today. Uh, one more thing I have to do. That's not even my... This is not even my uh, farm. This is Ruby Bucket's farm. So I'm helping him. I'm getting rid of all his crops. And I'm about to leave so they won't despawn. They won't despawn coming about to leave. See? There you go. Don't yell at me for them saying they'll despawn. And that'll wrap up for today's video. Huh, barely picks up my hand. Oh, he didn't pick up my hand that time. Alright.
See you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe to Nantucket Place 22.